Hello folks, welcome back to another NeoVim plugin video. Today we're going to be covering NeoVim or uh, NeoTree. NeoTree is a really cool um, file system explorer that you can pull up anytime you can toggle inside your NeoVim program. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, firstly, how do we install it? Well, if you watched my previous video, our package manager of choice is Packer. And the way I manage it is through a file called packages or plugins, excuse me. So let's go ahead and navigate to plugins. And here you can see that I'm using NVIM NeoTree from the NeoTree GitHub repository, specifying a branch there and some dependencies. If you don't know how to specify dependencies in Packer, this is how you would do it. So this package depends on plenary and web dev cons and NUI. Okay, well, that's all there is to it. Uh, once you have it, once I've put it in the plugins file, I still have to go into my init.lua and pull it in, so require it. So this is where I do that here. And I have um, a setup invocation here with certain options uh, all these options are documented on their github page but uh we'll, we'll just walk through this one follow current file is one i really like what that does is it highlights the file that um, your current buffer is on and i'll show you how that works here in a little bit filter items is how you can determine um, what files a neo tree shows so a visible true I'm going to show the number of files that is hiding from me and I'm telling it not to hide dot files and not to not to hide get ignored files. All right. So now for a little bit of a demonstration, um, let's go to another project here that I have open on my other window. So this project here is where I manage all my dot files and you can see I already have NeoTree pulled up. Um, if you don't have it pulled up, I believe the default mapping is just control N. So control N opens up my NeoTree uh, file view. And that's really cool. If I go back to my um, the buffer that my file is in, you can see it's highlighting that specific file that I'm on. So what if I were to change files? Let's go to color scheme instead. So if we go to color scheme, then again, a NeoTree would update that um, highlighted bar to where I'm at. And that's what that file follow follow file option does, the one that we were looking at earlier. Um, so that's really cool. All right, so let's take it some really quick um, commands for this. So if you go back and you focus on the NeoTree pane here or buffer, then you could... Uh, press question mark to show a list of um, things that you can do. So you can open other files, you can delete, you can add. I'll show you how to do some of these real quick. So say I wanted to rename color scheme for whatever reason, you hit R and it'll ask you what the new name is. And maybe I want it color scheme two. So I'll rename that. Um, I don't want it to be a color scheme too, actually, so I'll just change it back to color scheme. And then to add a file, you just go to the directory that you want and hit A and say, I want a test.json file. Create that test.json file. If you want to add a directory, what you would do is just add a slash at the end of that. And there you have it. Um, I'm going to go and delete that with D. So it's going to prompt me if I want to do it. Yes, I do. Uh, also, a really cool thing is that you can copy files around. Say if you want to move utils.lua to another file, and you take that, press Y, move up to the directory you want to copy it to, and press P. Um, so P there. Open that up. You can see utils.lua is now there. So delete that. Yes. If I wanted to open up a file in a split, then I highlight the file and click or press S. And that'll open up in a V split. Uh, so real cool. That is NeoTree for you. 